when I was putting together my last Outfits for Cool Artsy Weird Girls video, which was for the summer season, I realized my general go-to formula for creating interesting outfits is just layering a bunch of things on top of each other until it looks interesting. And now that it's 90 degrees outside, that's not really an option. So I ended up sitting down and putting probably way too much thought into how you could still communicate that you are a kooky, whimsical main character without giving yourself heat stroke. And now I'm gonna share them all with you. All right, so I found there were sort of two main ways to add creativity to a summer look. A, accessories, certain things you can wear that will add interest to your look but not add any heat. And B, styling, which is more about how you wear things or what you wear together. Let's start with accessories. Within this realm, I found there are four main types of accessories that work well for heat. They are headwear, jewelry, bags, and footwear. My first suggestion is, of course, hats. Hats are ideal because many of them are specifically made for summer. I mean, some of them are not. A beret would most likely end me where I stood if I tried to wear one outside right now. But items like bucket hats, baseball caps, and sun hats are all literally made to protect you from the sun and are mostly made of materials that will not overheat you. A bucket hat is perfect for a really relaxed, casual, playful vibe. Baseball caps can be great for like a sporty street style look or more of a granola camp counselor vibe. <laughs> and a sun hat, especially like a straw one, you know, is perfect for a super sweet, vintage inspired, cottagecore Ghibli type look. Besides hats, there are also many other head accessories that are perfect for summer and probably keep you even cooler because honestly, like even a baseball cap sometimes is a little too much sweat wise, you know what I mean? So if it's too hot, even for a hat, consider these options. First off, something that's like almost a hat, but isn't, a visor. It's perfect because it gives you that same sunshade without anything actually on top of your head. I just thought of that one as I was filming this and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. I need to get a visor. Next, tying ribbons in your hair. This is definitely a big trend right now and I really love it. I've been loving seeing all the different ways that people have been doing it. We've got little bows on the end of braids. We've got like a long ribbon cascading down from a little bun. We've got ribbons woven into braids. It's all so cute. I love how creative and like custom you can be with it. I love the little femininity and the detail it adds and most significantly I love that it will make you not even the minutest degree hotter. Another extremely practical headwear accessory, probably the most practical in this entire video, is sunglasses. Obviously, we use these all the time for the sun, and honestly, I think almost any pair just makes an outfit even cooler. But then beyond that, they're also such a fun way to make a statement because there are some extremely cool, fun sunglasses out there. I personally am a bit of a sunglasses collector. A weird, funky sunglass. Is that the singular? just a sunglass. Anyway, it's just my absolute favorite thing. They're also great because they're literally on your face, so like everyone's gonna notice them. They're they're staring right at them. Our last type of headwear before we move on to jewelry is head scarves. This is a really versatile one. There are tons of different ways to wear them. You could go like 2000s J-Lo style, 70s bandana style, under the chin, like a chic little vintage French lady. That's what that makes me think of. I That's not accurate, but it doesn't matter. Or you could just loosely drape one around your face and your shoulders. The last one is also really good for sun protection and low key, you can use it to wipe your sweat. That might seem gross, but when I was studying in India for a semester and it was like 100 degrees every day, that came in so handy. Our second type of accessory is jewelry. Jewelry is great for heat because it's small. Even big jewelry is small compared to like clothing, you know? It doesn't really cover any part of your body. And this is another one that is an ideal opportunity to make a statement. My first suggestion is, of course, statement jewelry. And statement earrings are so great because they're literally not even touching your skin. So there's just no opportunity for sweat to sneak its way in there. If you've got a plain outfit and then you throw on some big or ornate or colorful or weirdly shaped earrings, suddenly, it's a statement. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, your earrings are so cool. I love them. And they're gonna be like, what a cool look. When really, it, it's just a cool earring. You didn't even have to wear a cool look. Another option, if you're not really into big, bold, colorful jewelry, is just to pile on the jewelry and go for like a stacked, layered look. This mainly works with necklaces and rings, I'd say. The chest and the fingers 
are just the, the best mediums for layering. I do feel like the layered jewelry look is a little subtler than like a big bold jewelry, but it's definitely giving those cool girl vibes. Like I'm always a little jealous of people I see rocking like a stacked jewelry and a bunch of rings and I'm like, I wanna be a wearing a bunch of cool rings on a daily basis girly but I'm not because I'm too afraid I'm gonna lose them all. Finally, you could also go for some less common types of jewelry, like body chains, chain belts, collar necklaces, anklets, toe rings, brooches. I don't know if brooches really count as jewelry, but I didn't know where else to put them in this video. <laughs> all of these are just so fun and cool to me because like unique accessories, already cool. But then a unique type of accessory, that's just a whole nother level. Again, a thing that I'm always like, I wanna be that girl. All right, next we are moving on to bags. Kind of hard to incorporate into my outfit for the talking part, but you, you get the idea, it's here. This is another ideal summer accessory because it adds something more to your look, but it's not actually like on your body really. And again, you can go super statement with it. A bag with like an interesting shape, a bold color, really any fun detail is just another one of those pieces where people will be like, oh my gosh, cool bag no matter what you're wearing. <laughs> there are also tons of ways to accessorize your bags. That's right, we're accessorizing our accessories. That feels like a line from a corny 2000s movie, but I'm okay with it. Ways to accessorize a bag include putting pins on it, pinning brooches onto it. Again, I'm just really on a brooches train right now. I just really love this one that I got from a garage sale recently. Tying a ribbon around the strap of the bag, tying a scarf around the strap, clasping your jewelry onto the bag, or finally adding bag charms or keychains which you can buy or make yourself speaking of diys that's not really what this video is about but you could also paint on a bag i painted this design onto this one which i really love if you don't want to see like a tote bag painting diy video by the way just let me know oh and my friend kathleen also has a really cool video painting on like thrifted actual leather purses so fun i want to try that too and um you can check out that video up there if you're interested <laughs> All right, finally, our last category of accessories before we move on to styling is footwear. This was the best way I could come up with to incorporate this <laughs> into my look, but I, I have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these off now. <laughs> okay, footwear is of course, say it with me everyone, another great opportunity to make a statement. I feel like I've said that about every accessory in this video, but it's true for all of them. That's why they're all in the video. Some shoes definitely are a little more likely to overheat your feet, but there are so many fun and interesting shoes that are appropriate for summer, especially sandals. There are so many cool sandals out there. I think a platform anything makes a shoe cooler and therefore the whole outfit cooler. I also love a colorful shoe for summer. I have been on the hunt for some colorful sandals in my size at the thrift store lately. I just think a brightly colored sandal would be like such a moment, you know? Another really fun thing that I remember doing as a kid is having fun with shoelaces. This really only applies to sneakers, but you could put like colorful laces in them. You could put laces with like a really cool, cute little pattern. You could use ribbons instead of laces. You could also add little charms and pins and stuff to your laces. When I was a kid, we made our own with like safety pins and put little beads on them, but there are also some really adorable ones out there you can buy. I was like looking for a reference pick for this video of what I did when I was a kid, and then I found these ones that are like way cooler. Yeah, there are some awesome little shoe accessories out there. I love it. Otherwise, for feet, I already mentioned anklets, toe rings, foot jewelry, I think is really fun and cute for summer. The last thing I wanna mention, I've already kind of shown in a couple of videos, but it is just the idea of tying ribbons around your feet to kind of look like ballet shoe ribbons and then wearing that with some shoes. I'm just so into this right now. I feel like it makes every shoe look cooler. All right, those are all my accessory ideas to still have really fun, interesting style without frying like an egg on the sidewalk. And now, finally, we're gonna talk about styling ideas that serve the same goal. My first suggestion is wearing items in different ways than they would conventionally be worn. So that could be wearing a scarf as a top, a shirt as a skirt, a swimsuit as part of an outfit, which by the way, I have a whole video about if you wanna watch it. It could be buttoning things asymmetrically, wearing things backwards 
tying straps in like a different way. I also love the idea of pinning garments to create like a ruched look or an asymmetrical hem. You definitely need like some strong enough safety pins to do this so they won't come unpinned, but I do think it looks so cool. It's such a great way to like try out a temporary little alteration on a garment and create a really cool sculptural look. I've also seen people get so creative with just like totally tying garments into a completely different piece. I love the creativity and sort of sustainability of it. And even I, who does not really know how to do this at all, pulled together this little look when I was playing around for this video. So just try it out, play around, see what happens. My next styling suggestion is to use color. I feel like dressing really colorful is kind of key to like artsy creative style in the first place, you know, as opposed to like classic neutrals you know, classic neutrals. Also fine, but not particularly, like, interesting. So just dressing colorful in general will already lead you in a more, like, interesting, artistic, creative direction. But specifically, I would suggest playing with, like, a color scheme, be that a monochrome look, like we have here, complementary colors, analogous colors, just any sort of intentional color story or any repeated colors, you know, multiple times throughout an outfit, is gonna make the look go from, like, a tank top and shorts to an outfit, a look even. Also, even if you're not into super colorful looks, you're more into the neutrals, even just a pop of color can also go very far and make it look more interesting. All right, next up we have pairing things together that are not supposed to go together. Whether that's opposites, like a super casual baseball cap with like a frilly feminine pink blouse, or breaking conventions of fashion by going like baggy on baggy or with like two really powerful maximalist statement pieces at once. Just have fun at breaking the rules and seeing if you like it. I would do this not when you're looking for an outfit for like an actual occasion or to go out, but just like playing around at home when you're not worried about what people think of it or whether people see it and just see what you like. I also think this just creates much more unique outfits with a much stronger sense of personality and personal style because by the nature of the challenge, you are refusing to conform to like an established aesthetic, you know? And I think that's a big part of the fun of fashion is to break outside of those aesthetics or <laughs> ideas of what's supposed to go together. Okay, this next tip is both vague and oddly specific, but it is to pin stuff to stuff. Safety pin a bow onto your bag or your dress. Put actual decorative pins on a jacket. Pin a cool little fabric patch to your skirt. Really, you can pin anything to anything, and this is also a great way to try out or make temporary sort of embellishments like patches and other cool stuff um, instead of permanently sewing it on. Right here, I have um, a bow and then a brooch pinned to the bow and pinning it all to the dress. This is kind of a lot, but there's another gorgeous, gorgeous option. Finally, this last tip isn't so much styling as it is just a couple of clothing item suggestions, but two pieces that work really well for me in the summer to make an outfit more interesting without making it any warmer are overalls and vests. Obviously, both of these pieces can be very like heavy, hot material, but they can also be very light and breathable. I got these really like lightweight ones on Amazon. They're actually so comfortable for summer that I have worn them so much. Overalls also tend to be quite baggy, which I find much more comfortable in the summer, and they have a lot of airflow on the top half. And of course, they just have like fun, quirky, artsy vibes. So what more could you want? Vests, particularly like suit style vests, are great because it's basically just a tank top, but you can wear it open, so even more breathable. Vests are one of like the only items for layering that I think actually works in the summer and I actually use in the summer. I've been wearing this suede one that I thrifted all the time because it really isn't adding heat and I can wear it open. And layering just always adds more depth and dimension to a look. All right, y'all, please tell me if this was useful to you, if you plan on using any of these tips or if you have any more tips to add. And again, if you wanna see 20 full outfits exemplifying all of these strategies, you can watch this video right here. If you wanna support my channel, give me a little algorithm boost. You can like the video, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to see more of me. Oh, and I heard if you like, comment, and subscribe, you will never sweat through your outfit again. You're welcome.